So we're going to use the same exact functions. Um, f of x is going to be 3x minus 7. g of x is going to be 4 minus x squared. And um, here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you evaluate part A. Let's evaluate f of g of 2. I'm going to see what you can do with that. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Pause the video and see if you can do this. Okay, let's see who the brainiacs are. So we have um, f of g of 2. So that means I want to do f of... Well, i got to figure out what g of 2 is. All right, so g of 2 would be 4 minus 2 squared, right? Because g of 2 is putting a 2 in for the x in the g function. All right, so this is going to be f of 4 minus that's going to be 4, f of 0. Oh, okay, f of 0 is going to be, um, let's see, 3 times 0 minus 7. And that's going to be 0 minus 7, which is negative 7. I just found that f of g of 2 equals negative 7. wonder what would happen if we did g of f of 2. Try it. See what you get. g of f of 2. All right, when we do g of f of 2, we're going to have g of, all right, f of 2 is 3 times 2 minus 7. 3 times 2 minus 7 and was negative 1. And so now I need to do g of negative 1. Well, g of negative 1 is uh, 4 minus negative 1 squared, which is 4 minus 1, because that becomes a positive 1, which is 3. So g of f of 2 ends up being 3. Starting to catch on? I hope so. Okay, so notice what we're doing here. We're basically starting with a formula. We're putting the, the number into the first formula that's inside here. We're doing our, our order of operations. We're working from the inside out. So we put the 2 into the g function, got an answer out of the g function, and then we took the answer of the g function, and now we're putting that into the f function for the x. And so I put that in and I get out a negative 7. Okay, now we're going to try something even harder, even more tricky, but not impossible. All right, here we go. f of x, just as a reminder, f of x is 3x minus 7, and g of x is 4 minus x squared. All right, let's do, um, let's evaluate. f of g of a, f of g of a, all right, so if I do f of g of a, what, pause the video, pause the video and try this first, come on, do it, okay, here we go, f of g of a, f of g of a is going to be, first of all, f of whatever g of a is. Well, how do I find g of a? I'm going to put an a right in here for the x. So that's 4 minus a squared. How am I supposed to do f of that? That doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. f of that is, I'm going to do 3 times that stuff and then I'm going to subtract 7. 
Okay, remember, this is my input, the whole thing. So whatever's in here is going in place of the x and the f function. All right, so now I'm just going to simplify that out. And we're going to do, uh, that's going to be 12 minus 3a squared and then minus 7. And then I could write this in standard form, negative 3a squared and 12 minus 7 is plus 5. So f of g of a was 3a squared, negative 3a squared plus 5. Okay, you think you're smart? Think you can do this next one? Here we go. We're going to use the same functions. This time we're going to do g of f of um, 2a. No, let's do 2x. 2x. There we go. g of f of 2x. Pause the video. You can do it. All right, I'm just going to trust that you paused the video and you tried it. g of f of x is going to be g of, or f of 2x, sorry. g of, all right, I'm going to put a 2x in the f function. Where am I putting the 2x? I'm putting the 2x in place of this x. So that's a 3 times a 2x and then minus 7. Simplify it out. g of, that's going to be 6x minus 7. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to put 6x minus 7 in for the x and the g function. So this is going to be 4 minus 6x minus 7 squared. All right, this one's going to take a little work. I might run out of room here. I'm going to go sideways for just a second. So 4 minus, all right, when I take this times itself, uh, 6x minus 7 times 6x minus 7, I get 36x squared minus 42x minus another 42x and plus 49. And then I get 36x squared minus 84x plus 49. All right, that's a pretty long set of stuff. Now that comes after the minus, so now I have to negate all those things. So it's going to be 4 minus 36x squared plus 84x minus 49. And that's going to be negative 36x squared plus 84x minus 45. And that's what g of f of 2x is. You can do this. You can do anything on the assignment. If you can't do this, trust me, you're going to be able to do it. You just have to work at it a little bit. All right, now, I have to show you something because in your book they do the notation just a little bit differently, and I don't want you to get all flustered because they write it differently. All right, F circle G of whatever. We'll put a 2 in here for now. All right, this means the exact same thing as F of g of 2 written this way. These two are equivalent. Same exact thing. All right, that's all you really need to know about them. f of g of 2 written like that is the same as f of g of 2 written like this. The later one is the inside function and the earlier one is the outside function. That's it. All right, the rest of it is what I just showed you or what you already discovered on your own by trying it without looking at my answers first. I really hope you took the time to do the pauses in between because I, I think that actually helps you to learn. That's what we would have done in class had we been in class. Um, I would have kind of challenged you to try those things. So um, go on and do your E-Day assignment. I think you're going to um, actually see that you are well equipped for it. And then, of course, if you have any questions, um, send me a Canvas message and I will be glad to answer your questions. Adios.